Hey everybody, welcome back, it's Travis here with another LEGO set review. Today we'll be checking out a LEGO Star Wars set, the Unipower Troopers Battle Pack. Set number is 75036. The set includes 83 pieces, includes 4 minifigures. Recommended ages are 6 to 12, and it retails about $13 in the U.S. So our first main figure we get in the set, we get two of this one. It's the Phase 2 2 12th Clone Trooper. The Phase 2 helmet is the same mold as the Captain Rex Phase 2 helmet, just different printing, which makes it look different. But the helmet has nice orange markings there, the nice square visor, and then some battle damage printed on there. The head of the Clone Trooper is the, two, two, or the 2013 Clone Trooper head that LEGO has made. And then, you can see on the torso of the minifigure, we get some nice orange markings, and then some battle damage as well. And then, on the legs, we get some more orange markings, and then some knee pads with some orange. And then, plain orange arms, because LEGO is limited. On the back of the torso, you can see some more orange markings and battle damage. And then, this blaster, which you've probably already seen, but I'm going to show you anyway. You can see, just push this down here, and it will shoot the piece. And I just lost that, so LEGO has given us plenty of extras, actually 10 total of the stud that uh, is in there in the set. So let's move on to the second minifigure. second minifigure in this set is one that we also get two of, and each minifigure comes with one of the blasters, but I just took it out of his hands in this one. His helmet is a new special mold, which uh, we've only seen a mold like this. Uh, from area like customs before. LEGO has never officially made one. But you can see the nice orange markings on there and the battle damage. The nice cool visor shape. And then the orange lines on the helmet right here are the uh, paratrooper markings. It's all over his armor. Then the rest of the helmet. Same head. The torso printing is <clears throat> very nice, very well detailed. It's a standard Clone Trooper torso, but it's got extra straps and uh, markings and battle damage. You can see the paratrooper marking again on both the torso and the legs. One knee pad is orange. One arm is white uh, to match kind of the color coordination of the arms on the minifigure. The back of the torso continues that strap, or both the straps, and then has a gray uh, leg comma, whereas Captain Rex has a black one and uh, several other minifigures have before. But those are your minifigures in this set. The build that we get in this set is an Octoptara droid. And first I want to give a little bit of criticism about this. It is made in dark tan, primarily. Um, and it was never actually seen in dark tan in Star Wars. It's also, this is a Utapau set, it was never seen in the Battle of Utapau. And then one more thing, it is incredibly inaccurate in size because uh, in the show uh, you could actually stand at least four minifigures, at least four people could stand on the head at once easily and um, there was even one scene before where Asajj Ventress and Anakin Skywalker, Skywalker were battling on top of one but anyway that's just some criticism about it you can see it's got three legs, it rotates, and it has three flick missiles, so, um, just broke that. It's kind of, oh my gosh, and I lost that. No need to flick it, you, you know what it does. So, uh, I think that if you modify the legs a bit, like so, then you can make it much more size accurate at least. Um, maybe move all these up like this. But, uh, yeah. So this set is, I mean, it's pretty good when you get, for the minifigures at least, um, the build is not really anything worth writing home about, so move that out of the way. I mean, it is good for pieces, uh, but the minifigures are the main reason you're going to want to get the set. Uh, so, 
you can actually get these minifigures for about three to four dollars a piece on Bricklink. So if you're not interested in this build, then you could just get the minifigures on Bricklink and not even get the set. Um, especially if you want to get more of the minifigures than what comes in the set. I personally, I think I'm going to get a few more of the set just so I can see if I can combine the Octoptaras and try to make one that's uh, bigger, uh, more size accurate, and then some pieces from my own personal collection. But definitely the main part of the set is the minifigures. Main reason you're going to want to get them. I don't like the blasters because they're highly inaccurate. Of course, Lego isn't all about war, so they're never going to make extremely accurate uh, weapons for anything. So that's it for this review. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say if you're really wanting to build up a clone army, definitely get the set, especially if you love 212th Troopers or 212th Army. Next, it's time for LEGO to make us a Commander Cody. So I'm going to rate this set an 8 out of 10. And that's it for my review. If you guys enjoyed, then please give it a thumbs up. If not, then please give it a thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe for more LEGO set reviews. I'm Travis, and I'll catch you guys next time.